All right, so we're going to start uh, sit up tall and make sure your feet are flat to the floor, your feet are hip distance apart and parallel. Try not to lean on the back of your chair. And uh, most important thing is to breathe. So especially this time of year, you know, we get busy and we're holding our breath because uh, maybe it's the anticipation of the season, maybe just a little stress. So we'll just do a couple of breaths together. Try as best you can to just breathe in through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Let it out and let it be loud. Let me hear it. So inhale through your nose and then exhale out. Just kind of sigh. Inhale one more and exhale. Just let it go, right? All right, and then we'll just do some uh, head rolls. So some nice, easy head rolls. Think of uh, wringing out the neck a little bit. You know, warming up the neck. Just some nice head rolls. And then we'll go in the other direction. Roll it around. And roll it around. And one more time. Good. And then we'll do some shoulder rolls. Uh, roll those shoulders and uh, stretching the shoulders. All right. uh, let's do a few more. Just kind of give yourself a shoulder massage. Five, four, three, two, and last one. And then roll them back. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, Monday was uh, winter solstice, which means it was the shortest day. So now the days are getting longer, which is nice. And I'm a yogi. In yoga, uh, we do um, sun salutations, they're called. And usually on winter solstice, you do 108 of them. We're going to do three seated ones and then three standing ones just to kind of celebrate that. So it looks like this. Bring your hands to heart center and then raise your hands up to the sky. We're going to take a side bend, which I call the candy cane pose this time of year, and then come up to center, take a side bend the other side, and up to center. Now bring your hands to a T and look up, give yourself a little back bend, and then reach down to the ground towards your toes. We're going to come up halfway, tap your knees, and then back down, reach towards your toes. And then reach all the way up to the sky, back to that volcano pose with hands with a V and hands to heart center. And that would be one. So inhale, exhale, hands up, inhale, exhale, side bend. So move one movement, one breath, back to center, over to the other side, back to center, hands to a T, back bend, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, tap your knees. Exhale back down and hands up to the sky. And one more time to heart center. Let's do that one more time seated. Inhale, exhale up, side bend, back to center, side bend, back to center, and over to the other side, back bend. And forward fold. So you're moving your spine all kinds of different directions, which is great. Halfway up and all the way down and raise your hands up to the sky and back to heart center. Now you can stay in your seat or we're gonna do three more standing. So you can come behind your chair or just stand beside your chair. So you can go all the way down to your toes. So lots of options here. So hands to heart center, inhale, exhale, hands up to the sky, inhale, exhale, side bend, inhale, center, exhale, side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, back bend, inhale, exhale, forward bend, reach towards your toes, inhale, halfway up, tap your knees, exhale, back down, and hands back up to the sky and to heart center, one, inhale, exhale, hands reach up, side bend, come to center, side bend, back to center, answer T, back bend, Inhale, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Press into your feet and rise up, hands up to the sky. Hands to heart center, number two. One more, inhale. Exhale, hands up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to T back bend, inhale. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Press into your feet and lift your hands up to the sky and bring your hands to heart center. Nice job. Sun salutations. All right, we're going to come down to our seats now and we're going to do um, a little Ren Rudolph Ren. We're going to exercise the spine a little bit more. So we're going to start with our head and do some neck rotations now. A little twisting. Chuck Berry, right? So the cervical spine, that part of your neck, right? Up and down, some yes. Yes, and you can take your chin all the way over, like you're drawing squiggles with your nose, up and down, side to side at the same time. Nice. Nice. And then let's go ear to shoulder, kind of bopping that head around, side to side. Working the neck muscles, loosen up the neck. Good. Second part of your spine is the shoulders. So we're gonna lift those shoulders and then we're gonna alternate one and the other. All right? Maybe one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, nice, one. Two, one, two. Now bring your hands to your shoulders. So to twist that upper back. Good. Twist in the spine. I always say the more flexible your spine, the younger you feel. So we want to keep that range of motion. Make it long. Take those arms and twist the upper body. All right. Now let's add the sides. Reach down side to side. Little lateral flexion, reach and reach. And let's go back to those twos. Here we go. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two. All right. Now come back to center. We're going to think of our lower spine now. Forwards, back, forwards, little belly but dancing there. Move your belly button and kind of curve your spine backwards and then bring it forwards. And let's do some circles, some moving of the lower spine, circle. And let's go the other way. And now with your whole spine, just twist side to side. Nice, and moving the spine. Next, we're going to go visit the orchestra. So maybe we're going to go see the Boston Pops. We're going to do a little of the Nutcracker. And uh, this is Ageless Grace. We're doing some Ageless Grace this morning. Ageless Grace, usually I go around the room, I have people talk, but it's so hard with masks and people on Zoom. So I'm just going to name some instruments. So we're going to start with the ones we hear, which I believe are like violins. So hopefully I'll turn it up a little bit. You can hear the music. The Boston Nutcracker in the orchestra. So we want to play, you know, strongly, moving your arms and fast, right? Get the arm motion going. And let's go over here. I'm sure people that play the violin have strong arm muscles, right? And then maybe we're going to play our May clarinet, you know, just move the fingers. Exercising the fingers is so important. You can move your spine side to side, kind of playing very quickly. And maybe we'll play the flute, which is another good finger exercise with, with your breath flowing onto that flute. Good. We'll play the other side just to be kind of evenly spaced. Or maybe we'll play some synthesizers as we're moving our fingers fast and slow. Make sure you get all the way down the keyboard, reaching, and the other side. Oh, and back, and back, and back, and reach faster, faster for those pianos. Then maybe we'll play the drums now. Drums are good for your wrists. Practicing playing the drums. Good. And maybe we'll play some cymbals, Psh, big arm circles, playing our cymbals, crash, crash, crashing the cymbals. Good. Our little triangle, hold that up. Good. 
You hear that triangle sometimes in your triangle. All right, now we're gonna play some bongos. Right? Or beatbox, which is down low, right? Maybe not necessarily in the orchestra, but we will play um, a saxophone. Uh, not a saxophone, a trombone. Here we go. We'll play the saxophone next. Trombone, so slide it out. Reach and pull, reach, pull. Maybe fast and slow, right? Fast, low. And the other side, switch, reach and pull. So you're moving your arms, we're playing our instruments. Feel the music, right? Right now we'll play the saxophone. So kind of side and up, twist and up, twist, good. And the other side, twist and reach. Playing your saxophone. And we lift it up, All right? Lift it up, playing your saxophone. Nice. And we'll be just like orchestra conductor at the end there. Very nice. Good job. Round of applause. Very good in your orchestra today. All right. Next, and I'll just lower it a little bit there. We're going to do a little express yourself to Frosty the Snowman. So we're going to take a walk down the road. Express yourself a lot of times we talk about jobs and different uh, things. So we're walking down the road and we're just going to build the snowman at first. So we got to roll the snow, roll it up and maybe gather it in. Gather that snowman. All right. And then we'll make another one. So make one to the side, scoop up all that snow which I think is gonna melt tomorrow. I don't know if we're gonna have a white Christmas rain. All right, now pick up your big heavy snowball. Put it up in the middle there. Oh, we lost our sound. All right, we're gonna go over here. Hopefully it'll come back. Maybe it's just the Wi-Fi. All right, and pick up that snow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're gonna put it up on the top here. And then we're gonna reach up tall and grab a hat. Hat on the top and Maybe a scarf over here and pull it, tie it together. Now you're gonna go for a walk and you just keep marching and let's see what's happening to our music here because that would be terrible. Oh, I think we just lost the connection. All right, keep marching. We're walking down the street and the Wi-Fi went off. Here we go, um, Bluetooth. And it's not connected. Here we go. Keep on marching. We're going for a walk. Uh, is that again? Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay. Now, um, I don't know. This song mentions a traffic cop. So we can pretend there's one down the street directing traffic to that tree in the middle of the road. So if these people are stopping and these people are going. And then we'll switch sides. Come on. All right, and we can think of um, some other people that are out in the snow. Maybe the mailman is out walking today. He's out walking, delivering all your last minute Christmas packages, right? So he's got some, maybe he's an Amazon driver. Oh, lots of packages from Amazon or FedEx. Or let's get some over here. Maybe we're the UPS person, right? All the way up with our packages. Twist and reach, good. And we'll walk along and who else are we gonna see? Uh, maybe we'll see a fireman. There was a bad fire in Providence last night, I heard. So uh, maybe the fireman was spraying those hoses all the way down from the top of the roof to the down to the basement, spraying the hose. All right, or maybe they're climbing the ladder. There's a big, Apartment building, you gotta climb a ladder. All right. Nice. And then also people outside I saw today, there's some bus drivers because today is the last day of school for most kids till next year. So driving a bus, very good. All right, so next we're gonna come up to uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I'm gonna do zoology. Zoology is where we think of animals. So the first animal uh, we have is a reindeer. So get your reindeers up, and we're gonna do a little running. Running reindeers, 
Nice, you guys look great. So you gotta play along with me because it's fun to play, right? I'm gonna play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, playing some reindeer games, all right? And then maybe uh, we're gonna be a bunny. So we're gonna jump, jump, jump with your bunny, wiggle your nose if you can, right? Jumping bunnies. And nice. And some other animals that might be around in the winter. Uh, maybe we're a squirrel. So we're gonna dig up some nuts that we buried and scatter around. Maybe we're climbing up a tree. Good. Well, there's a lot of animals in the 12 days of Christmas. The first one is a partridge in a pear tree. You can do a tree pose, right? Partridge in a tree pose. We did the 12 days of Christmas last week. So a partridge in a pear tree. Or uh, two calling birds. So maybe we're a bird. Two calling birds. Nice. Or let's see, what else are there? Three French hens, so chicken, kind of how you think of a chicken, kind of peck down there, put your wings out and do a little scratching. So you got to do is we just want to move, think of creative ways, using our minds a little bit here. So let's see, what else? Um, oh, there's also some seven swans of swimming, so maybe we'll do some swimming, swimming. Or we'll do some backstroke swimming. And I think another animal, uh, let's say geese are laying, so we could stand up and sit down, kind of bouncing with our geese are laying. I think maybe that's the animals in there, but it's the end of the song. So the next one, actually, this goes good because the next thing is called get up and get down. And uh, let's start with our toes. So a little get up and get down, up on the housetop by pentatonics. I like pentatonics. I don't know if you ever heard of pentatonics. A nice harmony there. Good. So toes up and down. Now let's do our heels up and down. Nice, good song for up and down. Now, how about your right foot? Up and down, kind of stomp it. Right foot. Nice. And let's do our left foot now. Up and down. And your foot. All right, now we're going to add our knees, so we're going to just knee slam, knee up and down, we'll add our hands, a lot of cardio today, so up and down, get a workout in, knees up and down, and let's switch sides, other side, knee up and down, up and down, now here's the challenge, hold on to your seats because both knees up and down, up and down, knees, that's a core exercise. All right, just back to that right leg, but the whole leg, kick it up, up and down. Feel those legs working, feel the burn. And let's do the other side. Work it off all that holiday pie we're gonna be in, right? Now let's alternate the legs. So you're moving from your hips and try not to bend your knees, using your stomach muscles to hold yourself up. All right, now knees in, shoulders up and down. And get your elbows up and down. A little chicken move, right? Now whole hands up and down. And your head can go up and down, yeah. Up and down. Now hold on, put your feet under your knees, hands to your thighs. We're gonna do some bouncing. Bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down. Five more, we're gonna stand. Five, four, three, two, one for now. Everybody up. Very nice. And everybody down. Very nice. All right. Next we have rocking around the Christmas tree, which is a leg exercise. If you want to add a little more, you brought your weights, we can put our weights on our knees and add those today. So start with our legs, rock in, rockets, a little bit of a leg kick, kick it out. Using your knee, so incorporating rock in, rockets with our weights today. 
Nice. And the other side, switch it out. Kick it. Kick it. Nice. Now just the knee, step up and down. Now the other side. Now let's do that can, can. Here we go. Up, down, kick, back, up, down, kick, back, up, down, kick, back, up, down. Nice. Four. Three. Two. Up, down. Last one. Switch sides. Up. Down, kick, back, up, down, kick, two, up, down, kick, three, up, down, kick, four, up, down, kick, five, up, down, kick, six, up, down, kick, seven, one more. Now to the side, across your body, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. We're going to put down those weights. Santa Claus is coming to town by Frank Sinatra. We're going to do a little shaking. So let's start with our hands. Shake it out. Shake it up, baby. So get the blood flow into your fingers. Bring it up over your head. And down to the side. All the way down. Good. All the way up. Santa Claus is coming. I hope you're all good. Santa Claus is coming. All right, one more time here. And we're going to do our elbows now. So shake the elbows a little bit. Let's flap those wings. And we got a little twist in there. Totally shaking the elbows. And to the shoulders, just shake the shoulders forwards and back. Loosen up the spine, shaking the shoulders, forwards and back. Here, now let's do just three on each side. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. Good. And let's move down to the legs now. So we're going to shake the knee a little bit. I don't know how you shake your knee. Just shake it side to side. Like you got a nervous knee, maybe. Shake, 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 right? right. And then we'll do the other side. Shake your knee. Knee shaking, shaking, shaking. Nice. And then let's do our right foot. Shake your right foot all the way down there, all the way down to the toes. And then your left foot. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right. And then let's go back to the whole right leg. See if you can shake it all the way up from your hip. Blood flowing down like you got something on your shoe. Kick it off. Look, right? Other side. Shake it, shake it. Now hold on to your chair because we're going to shake both our legs like we're doing a little kicking action, maybe. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right. And then come back to center. Shake those hands up again. The whole other body. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all the way down to the floor. You can add your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. And shake it, shake it, shake it down. And one more time. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. And shake it, shake it, shake it down. Good. All right. Our next activity is called body math. And another thing we do in body math is um, counting to eight and then changing it every eight counts. So we're going to do that. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll just start with a knee tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. So here I'm going to tap my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four,
six, seven, eight. Another thing we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 It's a little body math today. It's a little more fun when everybody gets to play, but all right. So next is Christmas Island. We're going to travel to Hawaii and uh, visit Hawaii on Christmas Island. So let's just take a walk down to the beach and see what's going on today. In Hawaii, I usually go to Florida for Christmas, which is really nice, nice and warm. Not this year. All right. Anyway, uh, walking along on Hawaiian beach, we can imagine the palm trees, maybe the palm trees are swaying in the wind, a little nice warm breeze. And let's see, maybe we want to start to build a canoe. So we're going to chop down a tree, chop down one of those beautiful palm trees. All right, chopping your ax. And then we'll chop, chop, use the other side, other side of the tree. And we're making our canoe. We're going to scoop out the wood. I don't know, kind of scooping, scoop out the middle. All right. Maybe we've got to saw some boards for our seat. So we're going to saw. And we're going to saw the other side, making a couple of seats for our canoe. Nice. And then you got to sand it down. So I'm going to sand it nice and smooth so nobody gets a splinter. Right? Sand it down. And we'll sand up, we'll stand it up tall and sand the side so it goes really fast and all the way down, sand down, sand. And then we're going to paint it, we're going to paint our canoe. Maybe we'll paint it red and green for Christmas, right? A little painting action there. And we'll paint it, maybe let's paint it blue and white for Hanukkah colors. We'll paint it red. All right, and then we we'll take it out for a row. So push it out to the water. A couple of shoves out to the water. See if it's seaworthy, right? So step on in. We're gonna do some rowing now. So row, canoe, side to side. Row in a canoe. All right, and then maybe we would like to go fishing. So we're gonna throw the cast out, right? And reel it in. And then you gotta throw it out and reel it in. Oh, we got a big one. We gotta pull that line, pull that big fish in. Call a big guy. He, what is it? Mahi mahi, right? All right, and let's roll back and roll back home. Nice. That was a lovely trip to Hawaii. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, grab your weights now. We're gonna grab our weights. And uh, we're gonna do jingle bells. We're gonna do it slow first and then fast. So if you want to jingle your bells, but this one's about breathing. So I want you to sing along today. So we're gonna jingle our bells, but we're also going to breathe. So nice and slow, dashing through the snow. Do the one hearts open side. Over the fields we go. Come on, sing it with me. Laughing all the way. Bells on, but tails ring. 
making spirits bright. I don't hear anybody singing. Are you singing at home? <laughs> the same song tomorrow. Here we go, jingling. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, I find is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, I find it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Let's do some triceps. Mm -hmm. Triceps. Get those arms going. I don't know this chorus, so you could sing it if you know it. Maybe I'll listen. Hum. You can always hum. That's breathing, too. Back to biceps, but we're going to do one curl. And jingle bell. We'll get back to the other side. Jingle all the way. Come on, you know this part. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Uh -huh. Jingle, jingle, jingle. All right. So that was the slow one. Now we're going to do the fast one. Here we go. Little Lauren Daigle, all right? Little arm curl, other side. I didn't forget. Here we go. Concentration curl, biceps. Jingle bells. Here we go. Some jingling. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells. This is for your wrists. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Through the snow, one horse open sleigh. Back to, we'll do some triceps. Sing all the way. Bells on back to the ring. Making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing the same song to my hammer curls. Oh, with jingles. Jingle all the way, sing it with me. Oh, what fun is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. All right, now we'll do those hammer curls. Hammer, hammer it out. Do do do. -do. Breathing. Mm. This is a jazzy version. Jingle bells. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here we go. Jingle on all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, all right. Little jingle bells. Very good. All right, next, uh, let's see, here comes Santa Claus. Uh, we're going to do some abs. All right, so abs today, they're called star abs. So you have a choice here. You could just bring your hands behind your head, bring your knees out wide, and we're just going to crunch down just like this, or make it a little difficult, arms out wide, Take it to a star and you'll go star pose down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing two more. 11, 12. All right, now one side, same thing. You can have your hand behind your head, tap your knee, or take it long and tap towards your toe. I'm using your side obliques here, go in here. Exhale, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, two more, one, 12 days of Christmas, right? Other side one, you can keep the short lever or long lever. So here I'm going now. Exhale, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. All right, same thing. We're going to come back to crunches. So you can just crunch this way or um, long legs. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, last one. One side, right side, short lever, long lever. One go, inhale, exhale, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, long lever, short lever. Inhale, exhale, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, last round, wide or short, inhale, exhale, go, one, two, three, remember abs, so keep them tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good, one side, here we go. Long lever, inhale, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, other side, last set. Here we go, inhale, exhale, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Nice job, let's see. All right, time to go, time flies by. All right, next thing I wanna do is think about balance for a minute. So tops of your feet, lift up your heels and just press your toes in, in between your second and third toe, balance point. Just take a little walk that on your tippy toes. All right, take your toes forward and keep your heels lifted, tippy toes. Thinking about your balance, forwards and back. And let's do that one more time. Good. All right. Now, second balance point is right below your belly button, about three fingers, right below your belly button, that point, the middle of your body. So we're going to take that forwards and all the way back to the back of your chair. Forwards and back. So some big range of motion. And then we're going to stop right in the middle, see if you know where that is. So pretend we're falling forwards, but we don't want to go back, right? So if you were falling, how would you know to stop in the middle? Same thing with side to side. We could take that side to side, but being aware of your body and balance and stop. All right, so side to side, tick tock, stop. 
And we want to know where that is. All right. Next uh, balance is in your brain. Head up and down. Shake it. Close your eyes. Shake it as fast as you're comfortable. Side to side, up and down. You want to swirl those crystals around in your ears. And then stop and open your eyes and kind of look at something, maybe the floor. And breathe. And those crystals slowly start to swirl back. And we want to just get them unstuck. Get those crystals going. Shake it, shake it. Shake your head all around. And then open your eyes and just breathe. Get your balance, right? Put all that together now. Hands to your legs. Knees underneath, knees above your ankles. And we're going to do that bouncing motion. But the third time, we're going to stand up. So here we go. Bounce one. Bounce two. Bounce three, all the way up, standing. Good. Let's try that again. Sit on down. Here we go. Bounce one. Bounce two. Bounce three. Stand all the way up. Nice. All right, let's go behind our chair now that we're all standing. Here's the most wonderful time of year. So we're going to practice a little bit more balance. And we're going to start with that partridge in a pear tree, but standing now. So you can, I'm going to come forwards. You hold on to your chair. Kickstand your foot. So bring your foot to your ankle. Maybe hold on with one hand and the other hand. Or maybe lift your foot off the floor. All right, and your partridge in a pear tree. Our Christmas pose, right? More happiest season of the year, right? All right, good. Let's try it on the other side. So you're holding on to your chair. You're going to kickstand your foot. So the idea is you're going to take your knee forwards and then take it out to the side. So you're rotating your hip and then push that heel down. Raise your hands up. One hand. Or well, you just hold on to the chair or you can put your foot up. And you raise your branches. It just helps if you're staring at the floor and not something moving. So if you see someone toppling over, then you might have a little too. So just nice partridge in a pear tree. Good. And um, I find if your mind is going too, like lately, you know, I got a billion things going on up here. Balance is hard. So we really have to focus on finding those balance points in your feet that we just talked about. And we'll try another pose called the toy soldier pose. So reach your hands out in front of you, or you can hold on with one, and we're going to lift your foot up. So you can do this actually to the side of your chair and hold on to one side. The inside leg is the standing leg. And see how high you can get that leg up. So again, focus, focus, toy soldier pose. So you want to bring your toes towards your shin and balance and balance and balance and nice. And then we'll come to the center. We'll see little coat sleeves here. So raise your hands up and swing down to the side and hands up and to the other side and up and side and up and side. And one more time, each side. One more. All right, now go to the other side of your chair. We'll do that toy soldier pose. So inside leg is a stable leg. Outside leg is the one that's lifting. And you can lift your hands and lift your leg. See how high you can get the leg, All right? Engage the toes, engage the toes. Think of the balance point in the standing leg. Nice, and bring it down. Very good, we're gonna come down to our seats and cool it down a little bit. All right, a little bit like Christmas. So hands up to the sky and over to the other side, rainbow. And up to center and over to the other side, rainbow. Up and rainbow. Up and rainbow. One more time, each side. Nice. Rainbow. All right, and now down, all the way down. Is it? And all the way down. And raise up. And one more time, all the way down. Good. And all the way up. Good. We're going to standing stretch. We're going to um, stretch your legs forwards. Arms reach up tall. So lengthening your spine. Let's just sit down and then lean back. Lean back in your chair. And then we'll do that part to part to open the hip up. So bring your foot to your leg or you could cross at your ankle. And just that one hip, the knee's going to drop down and stretch into that one leg. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. 
And one more breath, straighten both legs. We're gonna take a bow, so reach down towards your toes. Remember, anytime your head is below your heart, you have to be careful if you have blood pressure issues. But after an inversion, you wanna roll up slow and bring your head up last. So shoulders hit the chair, reach back. And again, opposite foot now. So you could crisscross at your ankles or you could do your seated, uh, seated partridge in a pair of tree pose. All right, nice breathing, stretching. Okay, very good. And both legs straight, and we're gonna come back down, take a bow, little inversion. Inhale, and exhale. And roll up. Roll up, roll up, good. And again, stretch, head goes back, big body stretch. And then come back to seated pose and come up forward. Take your legs out wide. Now we're gonna come back to our star pose. We did star pose before, but this is called snowflake when we go side to side. So reach down, your hand reaches up, both palms facing to the left. And then come back up to center and reach down both palms facing to the right. So it's kind of an ab exercise a little bit using the side obliques, but reach down as much as you can and then reach up as much as you can. Side to side, you know, that? side to side, side to side. We have five more of these. Here we go. Snowflake pose five, two, and four. And three. And two. And last one. Now come back to your star pose. I'm gonna do falling star. So really reach your uh, balance points into the floor so they don't topple over and we're gonna fall. So falling stars and then come back up and falling stars and back up. So it's kind of a half fold. Don't have to go all the way down to your toes. And we got five more. Five and four and three and two. Good, last one with your snowflake pose. Nice, come back to center. And we're gonna bring hands behind your head and just elbow to knee now easy and tap. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the other side, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. All right. Next, we're going to change it to the uh, ankle tap. So we're going to lift up. It's called half a happy baby pose in yoga. Happy baby. All right. So just tap your ankle, lift your foot. We're using our core. Five and four and three and two and last one and to the other side half happy baby one and two three four five six seven eight nice job take your legs out wide one more time inhale hands up to the sky and exhale reach down nice and slow Roll up, remember head comes up last, shoulders back, hands up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, reach down. Use your stomach muscles, one vertebrae at a time. Stack, 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 shoulders back, head up, reach up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, roll down, reach towards the floor. Very nice, roll up, roll up, roll up. 
shoulders back, head back, reach up to the sky. Now interlace your hands and bend over to the side, candy cane pose. Inhale up to center. Exhale over to the other side, candy cane pose. Come back to center, a little candy cane. And center. And candy cane. And one more time each side. The center. So back to center. Bring your legs in close. Feet underneath you. Inhale. Exhale, take a bow all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands back all the way behind you. Grab onto the chair. Now lift your head and your heart up. Shoulders back. Now drop your head, cave in your heart, reach down towards the floor, and then all the way up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, hands down and around. Reach back to your chair. Lift your head and your heart. Shoulders back. Chin down and round, hands down to the floor, reach and lengthen, reach up, lifting up. And one more time, hands down and around, reaching down to the floor, lengthen your arms and then all the way back. Lift your head and your heart, press your chest forward, squeeze the shoulders and then round in opposite way. Hands down, all the way up. Now bring your hands to heart center, inhale, exhale, reach up, pull it down, and reach up, and then pull it down, and one more time, reach up, pull it down through heart center, nice job, great job tonight, thanks for joining me here, thanks for joining on Zoom. Have a Merry Christmas. Keep in mind, we'll be off next week. I will be teaching on Zoom Monday, and but not Wednesday. We won't be here. So uh, yoga on Monday at 930 on Facebook. Otherwise, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks for coming.